Hey everyone, this is Mike. I just want to talk about session two for interpersonal psychotherapy, IPT. The, um, the, the first session was basically um, getting a biopsychosocial, spiritual, cultural uh, information that you can pretty much um, would do for any, any uh, problem that they're coming in with. Uh, certainly you might have a more interpersonal lens through which you are looking at it. Are they you know, coming for grief and loss or interpersonal disputes or role transitions? Um, certainly everyone does a family history. You might do a genogram. Um, again, that's really done in the, in the first session. In the second session, maybe the third, uh, because the first one to three sessions in IPT are basically uh, gathering data, both formal and informal. Um, just in terms of talking with your client, you're getting information from them about how they communicate and how they are with you. So you're always getting information. So again, you're looking for in this second session, after you've done the biopsychosocial, you're doing an interpersonal inventory. So this is where there's a couple of things um, that you can find out, the people that are close to them, almost like concentric circles, the, the, the people that they have in their lives at different places, um, family, at work, how close they are. Um, you can also do uh, how many people are in their lives today that was there 10 years ago. Uh, and are they the same and, and, and what happens. So you can get a lot of data and, and information from this interpersonal inventory. You also do kind of a case uh, conceptualization um, by using, again, in information um, from the client and just trying to figure out what's going on from an interpersonal lens. Um, and, um, and then you can also um, maybe get data from other people that are in their lives if that's appropriate. Um, and um, then you, you also want to assess the um, their attachment. Um, is it uh, more of a secure attachment, fearful, dismissive, uh, dismissing or preoccupied? Uh, there's a certain IPT attachment model of how they, uh, in terms of, again, the, the interpersonal piece. Um, some of you may be familiar with attachment styles, right? Avoidant and anxious, right? Um, so this is a, an IPT version of that. All of this is gathering data and you do case conceptualization to just get a, a clinical picture of what's going on. Um, then you also do uh, an, an IPT summary, which is almost, you're talking to the client and getting their understanding of what they want. It's almost the, the client's version of the case conceptualization. It's more of an interpersonal um, uh, discussion with, with the client. So you're getting their case sum, the, the summary of what, what's going on from their perspective. Um, you also will do a, uh, a, a rationale um, for for the uh, IPT model. Again, this is where you just talk about I IPT and that it, it, it addresses interpersonal problems and it's validated empirically and what the goals are. And it's more of a strengths-based treatment. Again, you ask clients what their strengths are uh, as well and that it usually has a time-limited uh, nature to it. So you just mention, again, the rationale for using IPT for their problems. And then you ask them, what, what are they here for? Is it grief and loss, right? Is it transitions? Um, so you find out uh, what exactly they want, what area of interpersonal um, challenges they're, they're looking for. Um, and then finally, you have the agreement. Is it short term, um, you know, certain number of sessions? Do you come every week? Do you? separate them by a few weeks. So you're just getting, again, gathering information, what they're here for, that again, it's interpersonal nature, is it for grief and loss, interpersonal disputes, role transitions. I know they used to do skills deficits in IPT. I actually like that. They were like four sections and that, that kind of made them, made them three. Um, that it's more active directive, it's more uh, collaborative, it's not the, the, um, the therapist is the expert, it's you're working together, but there is a time limit to this and there is that, that this provides some motivation. So again, in IPT, the first three sessions are really uh, data and information gathering, formal and informal, before you jump in in the, in the next, in the, in the third or fourth session, uh, which is the uh, middle session, and what you actually do uh, prior to termination, and that's the heart of the matter. But you do need this beginning session, this beginning part, to get to learn about the client, because you're not going to have three years to slowly get to know the client and talk about their past endlessly. You need, you need some information in the real world, in the here and now, seeing what's going on, having your case conceptualization, having your client's understanding of themselves, understanding what's going on, what are their strengths, what are they here for, what are they hoping for, what are the goals of IPT. Um, and then with all that information, 
you're better, better able to use the middle phase and the, the strategies and the tactics and the techniques to help the client achieve the goals they want to achieve. So I know um, the beginning part, as crucial as it is, it's not the most, it's not the fun part because um, you know all, ther all, all therapy's got to gather information, and then it's like, well, can let's 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 start, let's let's do the IPT, the fun stuff, like get it, getting the client's help, let's getting out there, it's coming up with ideas, let's figure out what's going on. But this is um, this is a crucial part, and fortunately, it only takes one, two, maybe three sessions usually, um, and then you can actually say, okay, now we're going to take this information. And we're going to use it to help you, to help you achieve the goals and the things that you want in your life. And of course, for therapists, that's that's the exciting part. You know, we, we like to see that, um, and certainly the clients do as well. So you can find a lot of this, by the way, the books. There's a lot of books on IPT because the original book, but then there's also the IPT Institute, um, where they have a lot of resources and a lot of training. Um, so again, yeah, you can look things online. Just make sure it's it's legit. You know, you want to get it. Um, and you can also ask people that you know that that train in this area for their suggestions or thoughts or ideas. Um, and so this is the IPT session two slash three, and the next session we will uh, focus on the middle phase or the actual using the once now that we've got this information, what are we going to do with it to help the client? All right, and I'll see you next time. Bye.